Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. But before further we do, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit that bell icon for more tech news and reviews. Qualcomm has more than 1.6 million Snapdragon Insiders, a community of fans and enthusiasts who participate in online forums, and are among the first, to hear about news coming from Qualcomm. To cater to these power users, Qualcomm has partnered with Asus, to deliver a unique smartphone. Qualcomm announces the smartphone for Snapdragon Insiders, and yes, that's the official name. To those who can afford the curated offering of $1,500, the package includes the handset, along with a pair of TWS earbuds with Snapdragon sound, produced by Master and Dynamic, a bumper case, a Qualcomm Quick Charge 5.0 power adapter, and two charging cables. There's a lot to cover about this device so let's start with the hardware. On the front, is large 6.78-inch Samsung AMOLED screen with 2448 by 1080 pixels resolution, and the panel supports fast 144Hz refresh rate. The screen is protected by Gorilla Glass Victus and supports always on display. There's a 24 megapixels front-facing camera in the top bezel of the phone. This puts it among the few premium smartphones without a punch hole or a notch these days, and to my personal opinion this design is outdated. Around the back, is a triple camera setup, fingerprint scanner, and a self-illuminating Snapdragon logo. There's a main 64 megapixels f1.8 aperture camera, an ultra-wide 12 megapixels f2.2 aperture unit, and a telephoto 8 megapixels snapper with 3x zoom. The camera app will feature Qualcomm AI software experiences like auto-zoom and AI object tracking. We expect to see more of Qualcomm's camera features here, but the actual tuning of the cameras, is done by ASUS. The fingerprint scanner uses Qualcomm's second-generation 3D sonic sensor, just like the Galaxy S21 series. The difference here, however, is that the fingerprint scanner is not in display, and Qualcomm explains this due to its incompatibility with the rigid OLED panel that the smartphone is equipped with. The phone is powered by the Snapdragon 888 chipset. There's also 512 GB of UFS 3.1 storage, and 16 GB of LPDDR5 RAM. The smartphone will come with stock Android 11 out of the box. Qualcomm hasn't commented on the specific build of Android. We know it won't have any bloatware, and it will be near stock, but we're not sure where the Qualcomm features will be configurable from. There's a 4000 mAh battery, compatible with Qualcomm's included Quick Charge 5.0 charger. The phone is capable of a 70% charge in 30 minutes, or a full charge in 50 minutes. The phone weighs in at 210 grams. The smartphone for Snapdragon Insiders is meant to showcase all of Qualcomm software features that integrate with Qualcomm hardware. The smartphone will be manufactured, marketed, and sold by ASUS, and will be available sometime in August in China, US, Germany, UK, Japan, South Korea, and eventually India. So, what do you think of this newly, and surprising mobile launch of Qualcomm? Let me know your thoughts in the comment down below. And if you somehow found this videos interesting, subscribe to channel is absolutely gorgeous. And as always, thanks for watching, I will catch you guys in the next one, peace out.